Look what just came in the mail, my crypto.com Ruby Steel debit card. Let's open this up, get it activated, make a purchase, and then I can give you my initial thoughts. So kind of cool packaging. Let's see, opens up like so. Check it out. This is a metal card, kind of like the Amex metal cards, not quite as cool as the Apple titanium card. When people do the drop test, the Apple one I think wins, but this feels pretty solid. Let's figure out what we need to do to get this activated and then go make our first purchase. So here is the crypto.com app. Click on card, click on the little card icon. Let's see, it's been shipped. Activate physical card, enter the three digit code. Your physical card is activated. So it looks like we need to set up our pin number. Let's do that right now. Pin is confirmed. So I think we're ready to make our first purchase. Let's go do that and I'll tell you more about the card. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, can I get a large iced coffee? Any cream or sugar? Uh, no, fine, okay. good. Can I get a name? Jeff. You can tap or insert. The first half of this video that you just saw was recorded in late January. I made the purchase with my Ruby Steel card on January 31st. I didn't get around to recording the second half of this video until today, March 2nd. So let's get into my thoughts on the Ruby Steel card one month later. Before we go further, I'm not a financial advisor and nothing in this video is financial advice. Before purchasing any cryptocurrency, you want to make sure to do your own research. Now let's open up the crypto.com app. So it's going to look something like this when you log in to view the card, click on the bottom right hand corner. And here's a summary of my crypto.com Visa card. So you see available for the card is $6.17. So I wanna make sure to top this up before my next Spotify payment of $9.99 so that I can get 100% reimbursed for that purchase. You see down below a $5 deposit I made, the $9.99 for Spotify, another small deposit. And then here are the two charges. First for the coffee that you saw the video of, and then to pay for parking while purchasing said coffee. So you see $1.50 for parking and $3.91 for the coffee. So it's $2.91 to purchase the coffee and a dollar tip. This is gonna come in in something we're gonna talk about later on. Then we see down below another Spotify purchase for $9.99. So now let's take a look at my CRO balance where the rewards are added. So to get there, click on accounts and then open up the crypto wallet and click on Kronos. Okay, scrolling down further, you're gonna see the amount of CRO that I have available. You see the CRO stake. So this was the $400 at the time that I needed to stake to have access to the Ruby Steel card, not the basic version of this debit card. If we scroll down further, you see the 24.2224 CRO that I got for the Spotify purchase at the end of February. And then you see a referral bonus, 57 CRO. Here is a purchase, the rewards for a purchase on January 31st. And you see down below that another Spotify reimbursement. If we click on the CRO rewards right here, what you're gonna see is the price of CRO at the time was 43 cents. Here's how much CRO I got. And it was for, I basically got six cents in rewards. And if we look down further, you see 291. So this is what I was talking about earlier where the entire purchase was 391, but for some reason the tip didn't go through. And if we back out, you don't notice anywhere a second purchase for the $1.50 for the parking. So what I do obviously is I contacted their customer support. To find that, you just want to go to the home and you see in the top right hand corner, the chat. So if you have any issues, with your crypto.com account, if it's purchasing cryptocurrency or with your debit card, you can just click right here and talk to customer support. So there are a handful of categories where you're not gonna receive any rewards when making purchases with your crypto.com debit card. Okay, so here's the article they sent me, restrictions of Sierra rewards program. So if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see the code that they gave me for this purchase. It was, 9399. So merchants classified with this MCC are government entities that provide general support services to government and communities are not classified with a more specific MCC. So you see examples of this are the DMV, fire departments, libraries, police departments, and parking lots managed by the city. 
So for these purchases, no cash back earned. And if we scroll up further, you're gonna notice there could be some other types of purchases that maybe you would wanna make with your debit card. A big purchase for me, something that I purchase using my SoFi credit card where I do get 2% cash back. If we scroll up a little bit further, I believe it was 6,300. So health insurance. So I get 2% cash back for the few hundred dollars I spend on my health insurance every month. If I were to use the crypto.com debit card, I wouldn't get any cash back for that. So you can see there's quite a few different categories where apparently no CRO rewards earned for these purchases. So it's a little bit frustrating not getting the CRO for the tip that I gave the coffee shop or for the parking. You know what? I wasn't really expecting this to be my 2% cash back card that I was gonna use for all of my purchases because it's a debit card and not a credit card. Where with my SoFi credit card, I get 2% cash back on everything. There are plenty of 2% cash back cards. I have a whole video about that. If you wanna check that out, I'll link that up above right here. So a credit card as opposed to a debit card and a prepaid debit card. So as you saw earlier, I need to top up the debit card to make purchases. So if I were gonna spend a few hundred dollars, say on my health insurance, I would need to have that money in the account sitting there so that I could make that purchase when it went through. And with a credit card, I basically have my statement. So from now to say 30 days from now, I can make purchases and then I get a statement. And then 25 days after the statement comes out, I need to pay for that. So that gives me, you know, 25, 30, 40, 50 days from making a purchase to actually having to take money out of my account, where with this, I need to send that money into the account, wait till I make the purchase, and maybe I get cash back, and maybe I don't. But the thing is here, I wasn't really planning on doing that to begin with. Having a 100% reimbursement for my Spotify was one of the main reasons to get it. Also, in general, I am happy with crypto.com. I am purchasing cryptocurrencies. I've used their earn platform where I earn rewards on cryptocurrencies that are held with the crypto.com app. So in general, it's serving the purpose that I thought that I would be using it for is 100% for Spotify. And hey, I'm hoping that CRO does go up in the coming months and years where I'm gonna be making money on the $400 I've staked on the platform. Another thing I could do to up my rewards is to bump up my plan with Spotify. So you get up to $13.99, 100% reimbursed, where I could upgrade from the individual plan that I have right now to the duo plan. So if I had a roommate or a significant other, neither of which that I have right now, I could upgrade the plan and get another $3 of CRO every single month for the Spotify purchases. So I'm gonna see how the next couple of months go and I may upgrade the Ruby Steel card for the Royal Indigo card. There are some additional benefits, but a much larger CRO stake, $4,000 instead of just $400. Let me show you these additional benefits. Okay, so scrolling down just a little bit further, here is the Ruby Steel card that I have. Here is the next level up, the Royal Indigo or the Jade Green. I think I like the Royal Indigo more. The Ruby Steel, you see the $400 stake, 2% rewards. 100% reimbursement for Spotify. Looking at the Royal Indigo or Jade Green, you have to stake $4,000, you get 3% back in CRO. You also get Netflix reimbursed. If you scroll down further, you get airport lounge access. And there's one important point that you don't see here, which is increased rewards on crypto that you have held within crypto earn. So with this upgraded card, you get a percent or two more in rewards for any of the cryptocurrencies held within crypto.com earn. Let me show you a little bit more about how that works. Earn up to 14.5%. To earn that high of rewards, you need to have an even larger CRO stake than the $4,000 we're talking about today. You'll see in a second how this works. So if we scroll down further, here are all the different cryptocurrencies where you can earn rewards. And there are different terms and depending on the term, it will dictate the rewards you get, also the CRO stake. So you can see $40,000 or more, that's when you can get the 14.5% that they were talking about. So $400 or less, basically anything under the card that we're talking about. You just take a look at a couple of these values, but they're all gonna update as we move things. So for Bitcoin at three months, 4.5%. For USDC, 10%. If we go to one month, you're gonna see 3% and 8%. Flexible is 6% and 1.5%. But if we have the $4,000 staked, what happens, this is gonna bump up. So you see 2% and 8%, then we have 10% and four and a half, and then here we have six and a half percent and 12%. So those ones are changing by by 2%. If you look at some of the values that are a bit lower, so the 3% here, you're gonna see that those are 2% if you have a lower 
CRO stake or no CRO stake. So those are my thoughts after having the Ruby Steel card for one month. I'm definitely gonna be hanging on to this card, getting free Spotify, and who knows, maybe in the next couple of months, I'll be upgrading to the Royal Indigo card. If you wanna learn more about the crypto.com earn platform, how to earn rewards on your crypto, check out the video up above. If you wanna see how crypto.com compares to other crypto exchanges in terms of which place is the cheapest to purchase cryptocurrency, check out the video below. Hope to see you in those and in future videos. Bye-bye.